Well, first of all, I'm glad uh, David's got the kind of guts. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm trying to get a timeout. I didn't know that we could get a good look, but uh, David, <laughs> he had the confidence. And nobody works as hard on his game as David. Um, I don't know if he's practiced that shot a lot, but he uh, is just happy for him because he had the guts to take it. And he, he called it. After it left his hand, he said, game time. So uh, proud of him, but more uh, more so than that, just proud of um, uh, beating a very, very good Francis Marion team. I've been in the league 10 years. This is the best team they've had. They got player of the year in the conference. They got big old Judah. They got great supporting cast. Um, coach Edwards is a fantastic coach. And I told him afterwards, I said, man, I'm sorry. You hate to see either team lose that game. You hate that we have to play them in the first round, but that's just kind of the way things goes. But these guys really fought the second half, as they did. I thought both teams really competed. Um, just very fortunate we made one more shot. Yeah, obviously, you get off to the big lead, and then Francis Marion comes yeah. back, and they lead at the half. Your team comes up with a bunch of big shots late. Obviously, David shot. But what did it take for your team to get the win today? Well, uh, they were just uh, gritty enough. And, um, you know, offense was frustrating at times. You know, they did. We got off to such a quick start. They made some very good adjustments. They changed up their zone. They did some things with their zone defense that we hadn't seen all year. This is the first time we played them. And they uh, they threw the kitchen sink at us. But the guys kept grinding, you know, found ways to get good shots. But more importantly, we got defensive stops when we needed them. Coach, I was after the uh, first tournament win in two years, man. I mean, this is March, right? <laughs> Madness. Yeah. Uh, no, just uh, it's, it's a great feeling. Um, really happy for these guys because they really grinded the second half. As they've done, you know, throughout the year, we've been pretty good and consistent offensively, but defensively, this team is special. Yeah, it felt like the, the big stretch to me was where you got those consecutive shot clock violations yeah. and then some big shots by Watcher. <laughs> what was it about that stretch that gave you guys confidence down, down the stretch? Well, all year long, I think um, when things have gotten difficult, they've relied on defense, rebounding. Um, Effort plays, and you know I give Francis Marion credit. They they made it very tough on us. Um, they battled, <laughs> but these guys battled as well, and it's real good to still be alive. <laughs> yeah, how about the freshman man, David? Obviously the yeah. big guy, but uh, Tyrell had a really big game as well, assist wise and uh, points wise. So those guys have done it all year, but to see him do it in a tournament setting, what was that like? For you? Yeah, they've really grown up, and if you look at uh. You know, Francis Marion, I think, leads the league in steals, and they're very aggressive. They trap, but to go through that game with 20 assists, 12 turnovers, um, you know, <coughs> David had one turnover. Tyrell had one. Um, Brandon had a couple, but um, second half was definitely, but he had four steals and some big time buckets. So you look at our balance there, I think we had seven, I guess, and six or seven in double figures. So that's kind of been a trademark of our team is that we got a lot of guys that can score and a lot of guys that enjoy the challenge of playing defense. David, what did you see on that that last second shot? Obviously, you called, you called it right when it came out of your hand, but what were you seeing as that play progressed? When he when he first hit the, when he first hit that shot, I just saw everybody on their team like they went and like they went like they went on to the next play. They were still celebrating, so I just got the ball out fast. And he was actually about to call a timeout. <laughs> and I just took the shot. And you feel good out of your hand. Yeah, I felt, it felt good when it left my hand. Brandon, you made some big shots down the stretch, too, when Francis Marion just kind of kept coming, wouldn't go away. So what made you successful down the stretch tonight? Uh, I mean, my team just, even though I was playing bad in the first half, everybody just kept telling me, be confident in yourself and take the shot if you see it. So I just took the trouble shots, and I finally made some. How tough is <coughs> to play somebody for a fourth time, especially a week apart? Very. You know them, they know you, no surprise. Right? Yeah, I mean, they, they tried a couple of new things, but uh, I guess we stuck to what we'd known all year and it kind of worked out for us. David, you ever had a shot like that, man? That's right, every time I don't want life. Yeah. That's the yeah. biggest one. I mean, you've yeah. seen it over the last years with the Villanova shot. Yeah. And even last week with Miami, kind of replaying that. Yeah, that was the biggest shot I ever had in basketball. <laughs> it was good, good experience. Yeah. Coach, talk about what this does for your team going forward. Well, it's just, I mean, it's, you know, it's great. There's a lot of, we talked at halftime, I mean, there's a lot of good teams, a lot of good players that are on spring break or back home starting to think about next season. And we're fortunate enough to have a chance to continue playing. Um, these guys have earned it, um, as Francis did too. I mean, you hate to see their team, you know, have to, to go home now, but that's the beauty and the beast of the tournament. But uh, I'm just happy for these guys. Uh, we had to grind and earn it, and uh, just excited to have a chance to 
keep playing.